Hello, so I'm making the bacon chicken shrimp lasagna. And here are the things that I'm going to be using. This is um, Italian parsley and fresh basil. I normally use um, fresh oregano too, but they didn't have any. I'm gonna use this minced garlic because I don't feel like cutting my own garlic because I'm a bum. Bacon that I cut up. I would cut them up pretty thick because you know when you, um, when you fucking fry it, it's gonna shrivel up just like fucking spinach. Two red peppers, red bell peppers, and then one green bell pepper. I use chicken thighs. Um, I normally always use chicken boneless chicken thighs, and the only time I'll ever use chicken breasts is if I'm making specifically chicken parmesan. But chicken thighs are way juicier, has way more flavor, and are way cheaper than chicken breast. I have my noodles that I just picked any kind of those noodles, and then I'm gonna be using chili powder, oregano, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, and some Cajun seasoning. And yes, I don't really measure my seasonings in those little cup things. I just be working off the flick of the wrist, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do this shit until I feel real good. I'm only gonna do the front layer of the meat, of all the meats that I'm gonna season because I'm seasoning every single meat. And I just think that that will, if doing both sides, it may be too much. So I just do it until everything looks coated well. That was Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of this, so you need to watch this part, bye. I showed you um, right here. Bada boom, bada beam. My fucking thingies on pretty high. I'm gonna put some olive oil on that bad boy. Bada boom, bada bam, spray it around. You know, you know, you know, you know. And then, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna let that get hot real quick, real quick. Am I gonna do a shrimp first or am I gonna do a chicken first? And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my bell peppers. Get my little spoon thingy. Mmm, bell peppers. Delicious. Okay, then I'm gonna get my motherfucking seasoning white right chill. Just toss that shit in them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bada boom, bada bam. I'm uh, and it's so much, but I'm putting in so many meats in this. Um, and I just want it to be a good amount. To, um, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see. Spread that around. It smells delectable. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now I need to open up this garlic because I just bought this one. So I want that money. So here's my garlic. Boom. That was one tablespoon. If you almost know. I mean, you do. You didn't know. I use a good bit of garlic because that should be buffing. No cap. Then another tablespoon, bitches. Actually, let's put some shit in here. Let me grab this out. Hold on. Olive oil on this chicken <clears throat> um, when it was on the cutting board, and I just kind of mashed it all around, but I needed both my hands to do that. And then I poured it in here, and I'm just going to mix everything through. I'm gonna take these noodles out because they're finished. So we're gonna mash all that, you know, put everything, kind of mix it through together. I hope this, I hope you can see. I can't really look and see at the same time. Just because I love y'all hoes, but I ain't gonna mess up my food, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, cool. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna go dump this out. My Google heard me talking. My FBI agent knows you, so. Um, so I'm about to go dump that into the thingy. And then put my shrimp over here, start seasoning that, and then I'll be back. Bye. Okay, we're back. So the chicken's starting to look good. Starting to look, you know what I'm saying? Mostly done, almost done. This, you know, I got flips and shit over, you know what I'm saying? But it's not all. I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. So at this point, 
I feel confident that I can go ahead and add my shrimp. Um, let's see. So I went ahead and already seasoned it. I'm sorry, I have a really hard time seasoning with one hand. Um, but I'm going to tell you the ones that I put on this one. I just put chili powder, Italian seasoning, oregano, and some um, Cajun seasoning. And I'm going to put some olive oil on it again. I always put just a little bit on. And then I use my hand. I mix that shit up. Or that stuff up. I got that first And so you see it's not super duper seasoned. Or I mean, actually once I mix it around, it might be kind of seasoned. Just like but you know. Better than have too much. Well, no, it's not better than have too much, but I don't know what I'm saying. I'm set. I'll set with this. Okay. So, bada boom. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to take like half of that of them whole. You know what I'm saying? I hate the fucking chewy shrimp, and sometimes I make a mistake and overcook my shrimp. It is a problem that I have had multiple times in a row. I'm not gonna cap, but um. That's why I really try to make sure the chicken is almost, almost done or close to it. It's still looking juicy. <laughs> um, you really don't want to overfill your pan with stuff because everything won't cook evenly or through. But I'm working with one pan, so I have to do what I got to do. So I use this much shrimp. Actually, I might go ahead and throw in like a couple more. Look at that one. That's a beautiful freaking shrimp. This was a bad bitch in the water. All right, so then I'm going to just put it on top of everything. I'm going to put, I'm going to just mix it through again. Now, I'm not a professional or nothing, so this could be cross-contamination, but none of us niggas died in this house, so I'm cool with it, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm using one pan. Oh, this is a big piece of chicken. I need to eat this. Put this out, put that to the side. All right. You see the bell peppers are getting like hella soft and stuff. Mmm, my fave. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that do its thing. And, um, I'm going to start messing with this. Okay, okay, okay. So, I need to wash my hands. I'll be back. So, everything's starting to look nice. Um, I do want my shrimp to get a little bit darker. But not too much darker because, like I said, I really like my shit to be... I don't I'd be just so worried about it being chewy so as long as it's not fucking oh i'm sorry I mean, everything's looking good right now um i tasted a piece of chicken um it was done it was very delicious <laughs> that was so unhelpful <laughs> but but um <laughs> so i'm gonna let this get a little bit darker the shrimp um i turned up my the I turned up the thing to um, six, but I just put it on high just now for the last couple of minutes of that. Then I'm going to dump this and this. Now, the thing about this um, is that it would go better if I had a top to put on it. That's what I normally do. But I just got this um, skillet because mine freaking broke the other day and it didn't come with a top. So I was trying to use this, but it didn't do what I needed to do because the air is still escaping not as much but you know so i was trying to use that but that shit didn't work so you know, how we talk how we talk now if you have multiple pans you can totally cook all your shrimp in one thing your bacon in one thing and your chicken in one thing you can sub the bacon for either taking it out or you can just freaking um use some milk like sausage or um even like ground pork will be a or, or like an italian pork will be a freaking banger you know, I like to do three meat. And also, I would say that if you're going to hit the shrimp, um, my freaking local farmer's market, I got two pounds of shrimp for like 15 bucks, and I got the jumbo shrimp. It's pretty good, I think. So, I would suggest using fresh shrimp because it really hits completely different. That, that shrimp was fresh off the boat, you know what I'm saying? So, and if I could, now if I could, I would totally cook these things separately, but I, 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 I ain't got time for that, you know? Um, so I'm gonna cook this bacon, because the bacon is, oh, the bacon is kind of just a fucking duo. A like peanut butter jelly or, or freaking, um, Elvis and toilets, you know? A uh, duo. So, I'm gonna let this bacon cook. Last time, I did not cook the bacon long enough, and it was a little bit too soggy. I want it to be a little bit crispier, so I'm gonna really, not jump the gun and then i'm going to add the shrimp into here 
and cook it on top when the bacon is just almost done. It's like I did the chicken. Um, again, I don't have multiple pans, but if you do, you can do it separately. If you do it separately, just make sure that you don't cook, you cook the shrimp with just as much of the Italian um, parsley and the uh, basil. And if your store doesn't stuff near you and have oregano, make sure you use fresh parsley and bell peppers to both the shrimp and the chicken, but you don't need it for the bacon. Okay, I'm gonna move because it's popping me and I'm trying to be a thug, but it really hurts. I'll be back. So I decided to go ahead and cook this shrimp um, separately. I may or may not have waited too long to cook the bacon out because I was playing on my limit. And the bacon may or may not have gone <clears throat> a little crispy. Of course, when I first came to it, I did a break. And now I just have a recorder for people. Bada boom, bada bam, fuck up. But here's the bacon. Boom, in the pot. Luckily, it's a paper burnt because it's going to be soaked and white creamy goodness and not the kind we're all thinking about <laughs> am I right <laughs> um, stop. but um so I'm gonna cook this real quick you know I put some garlic in that thing and it was already seasoned I didn't any more seasoning and I'm also gonna season the sauce I'm gonna make so um be there or be square goodbye um uh, I'm going to try my very best to record this as best as possible. Please don't judge about my pan. I'm a poor person. Thank you very much. So, something that is so, 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 so important is your roux. Okay? So, get some butter. And you're not making the roux correctly if you don't. Throw your butter down like that. Okay. When you get your butter, you need to throw it down violently. Then you guys, you're just gonna hit me shit up like that. Help me milk. I need some help. I need some milk. Or should I say heavy whipping cream? Okay, I'm gonna stop. <clears throat> so, you're gonna let that melt down. Melt down real good. This is so important, bro. Use a whisk. I don't know how many roux I done fucked up because, or I, ooh, I done messed up. <laughs> Part of my French. <laughs> we wee soupy leg. Um, because I did not use a freaking whisk but, but then use a whisk okay so let that you know what i'm saying do that then oh i should have did this before that i'm messing up so now that the butter is melted it's like no melted you're gonna get one table oh, i spilled that everywhere gosh darn it stop being a fist and call me belinda all right get one tablespoon of flour Okay, I'm going to get it. And then another of flour. <gasps> Don't throw that down as dramatic because you're going to make a mess. Then you're going to start. This is just mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Uh. Oh, also have this on like a freaking, I would say in the beginning, let's say like a um, three. Uh, I'm on four right now. It's on, on four. You got to get this looking real good. All right, now I need to open up this. Yeah, I should have did this before I to, but I was texting instead. So please hold while I describe you trying to reach. We will cut it up. Using my mouth. This hurts. I should probably put my phone down and just come back. But I believe in myself. Oh, I just bit my finger. Oh, oh, I just broke it. I gotta, I gotta come back. I gotta come back. Embarrassing. For a little bit of heavy up in here, man. And throw your life away. It may or may not be pop, pop flakes of mine, but um, I'll survive. I need to get a new one, but every time I get a new one, they just get messed up so fast. You see, my if I pull out my other one, you'll be like, well, that's better than that one. And then you just, you just, this is what, you whisk, baby, whisk your life away. Mmm, look at that roof. I love me a roof. I love me a roof. Okay, I gotta get this chunk out, it's huge. One second running. Oh man, that's a lot of roof. And I can save some of it. Okay. 
All right. More. And that, my friends, is how you make a roux. Super easy, super simple. And you just whisk. Crap, it's so much worse this time. Actually, I don't think it's worse this time. I think that because I'm recording, and I'm like, oh God, people are gonna know I'm a freaking animal. I'm carrying way more than I normally would. Because I mean, you don't taste the pot flakes, is all I'm saying. Actually, I feel like I've been using, I gotta get a new one. All right. So, just keep going out. Then you're gonna add your cheeses. I'll be back. So I added some pepper jack cheese, but it was sliced cheese because it's the end of the world. And there was no freaking shredded pepper jack cheese. So I had to use sliced, but I did that. And so now I'm adding more heavy whipping cream because last time I feel like I made it a little too thick. And this time I don't want it to be a stick. So I'm just whisking my life away. I added red pepper flakes, um, some black pepper. You could be helping me instead of watching. But what are you doing? You're hovering. Have a piece of shrimp. Like the gentle fucking giant you yeah, are. Take a piece of shrimp. You can have, I would choose the shrimp you can have. Oh wow. She's gonna need the stupidest one. Yeah, I'm gonna give you are the, you trying to give me a burnt one? I'm trying to give you the first of all, bitch, I ain't burnt nothing. Drop it in my hand. Here we go. Thank you. And then you leave. Wow, just yeah. like that. Okay, so then <laughs> gonna be Wait, actually, can you record this last part for me? Because the, the, the roux is so important. Or the, the sauce is just, it's, it's important, you know? Okay, fine. All right. So you can just keep it on there. So now I'm going to add some more cheese. I thought I opened this. Oh. oh. That's my arm. I, I added like four shredded. Like, no, I added like six things of shredded parm. No, I'm sorry. What's the word are you I'm trying looking for? Parmesan cheese? No, um, mozzarella? Pepper jack. Oh, pepper jack. I did four things of shredded pepper jack. No, six. I did six. And now I'm doing, I, normally I would do like a whole fucking bag though. No cap. And now I'm doing this, this bag. You can see. Mmm, let me do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm going to add some, a little bit of salt. Oh, actually, I'm not going to add salt because I have bacon in here. I forgot. So, I'm gonna leave some cheese for the top because I didn't buy enough cheese. And then that's gonna be my sauce. I'm still gonna add the, hmm? did I use it all? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna add just some more heavy whipping cream because I want this one to be way more saucy than the last one. You thought the last one was not saucy enough? I thought it was. Okay. Maybe it just made me. But it, you, I noticed that it's more rude than last time. A lot more. What do you mean? It's just thicker? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you don't want it to be thick, you can like this thick. You can use less flour, and you could also use milk to make it thinner because heavy whipping cream is heavy. We use milk and heavy whipping cream, not just milk. But yeah, you can do that. I've done that before. And if you wanted to thin it up, you can use heavy. You can use some milk. I have milk. You would think I should thin it up, or is it fine? It's fine. Okay, cool. All right, so that is my. Huh? I was looking for a five though, so I found it. Um, that's my roux, or that's my um sauce. It's all creamy and good and cheesy, and it's it's really thick because I use a lot of cheese too. That's a, another factor of it. And so when it goes into the freaking what you call it, it'll be perfection. Oven. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't turn it on. I turn what? What does that mean? Uh-uh. Technical difficulties. I can't back. I'm making spinach now. Um, my freaking oven was burning down. <laughs> and there's everything goes wrong when you're trying to record shit. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, normally I would try to cut the end of the the um spinach, but I'm so lazy and I didn't feel like it. And honestly, a little stem, it never hurts nobody. Well, now, huh? Yeah. I want you to come back. Mm -hmm. Here, help me. Ooh, that was nice on the camera. It does? Mm -hmm. Also, I try not to use spoons when you took this off. So, I would have done the whole garlic thing, but I'm not going to hold you. I'm feeling kind of lazy. But you can totally make this with garlic too. But I put so much garlic in everything else. I don't have to. 
And I'm not gonna lie, I may or may not have made it a little bit spicier than expected. Oops. Oh. Yeah, prepare yourself for that. It's not that bad, but you know, it's a little spicy. So, how about this cube it? Just a little bit more time. Oh, pardon me, because I got to put this one in Darius's and then cut the stems. I'm just so lazy. I didn't cut the stems last time, but did you notice? No, I didn't notice. Okay, well, it should be fine. But this one's different, like, the spinach's different. Okay, so I'm going to just put this spinach. Oh, I didn't get the noodles. Please hold. I'm not sure my noodles, my noodles are jacked. I never try hard with my noodles. They are just formed. <laughs> oh, that sauce is a little hotter than I meant to do. Oh, God. Oh, it's supposed to do. Shit, 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 shit. I've made mistakes. I've made lots of mistakes. Okay. Oh, I should take that out then. Okie dokie, out of jokey. So if your noodles come out as forms, same. If they come out perfect, fuck you. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my panty danny spoon bag. And I'm gonna put it on my just form noodles. Dang, is that enough spinach? Dang, I gotta make more spinach. What the heck, man? I don't know why you thought that little amount was enough spinach. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that little amount was Shut up! Then I'm gonna smother it with cheese sauce. And as you can see, the texture did lighten up some. Oh God, that's so long. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be back. This is pretty much the end result. You can put more cheese on top of it if you want to, or you don't have to um, do that. Oh God, that became so good. Give it to me. Mm. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Mm, it was good. So that's my bacon, chicken, shrimp, lasagna. Now I'm gonna put. I'm about to make some more spinach, but I'm not about to show you all that because I was already fucking up last time. But I'm gonna do another row. Spinach. Can you have one? Oh. Spinach, and then top it, and then I'll show you the end result, and then I'll show you my roommate eating it all disgustingly like she normally does. See you guys later. Thanks, bye. All right, guys, and this was the end result. And I also made another one. Don't mind that random noodle. Um, with no cheese and only red sauce, spinach, and the meat sauce I made because one of my roommates don't eat cheese because it makes them boo-boo real bad. So I'll cut into it after it kind of cools down. It's pretty good, though. Looks pretty, looks pretty scrum to the own. Oh, shit.